What's up guys, I'm here to talk about the uh, WBA Heavyweight Championship fight between uh, David Hay and Audie Harrison last night. Um, this fight is going to be broken down, it was a quick fight, it's going to be broken down the fight reactions and also a couple of the controversies that has happened, so uh, stay with me on this. Basically, um, it was a very simple fight, you know, first two rounds there was nothing really thrown. First round, I don't think a punch landed in the first round uh, of the fight. Uh, so I've got nothing to say about the first round. So I gave that a 10 all round there, to be honest with you. Um, second round, Hay um, had a few good shots in there. Not really a lot, though. It wasn't like he was committing himself in there. It was sort of like he was picking his time over Harrison. Um, and then uh, Harrison, he just um, didn't throw anything, man. I mean... You know, I think I think in a whole fight he threw one jab, one jab he threw in a whole fight. Um, you know, which is different than Audie Harrison was going to say. Um, but you know, he threw one jab, and I think it was embarrassing really on that front, if you ask me. Um, third round, uh, Harrison once again, you know, um, not throwing anything. Trying to hold centre of the ring, trying to I think imp trying to impose himself, but you can't impose yourself if you, if you don't throw shots. That's the problem. I mean, he was on the ropes. Hey, jumped in, managed to get through, and as soon as he hit Harrison with one punch, you knew what was going to happen. You absolutely knew straight away. You know, hit with a barrage of combos. Um, <clears> How <throat> caught Harrison, um, knocked Harrison down. You know, in the third, he managed to get up and beat the count, but he looked groggy when he looked like he was struggling getting up, to be honest with you. Uh, got up and, uh, hey, rushed back in with another barrage and referee stopped the fight. <sighs> Overall, you know, I mean, if you look at my prediction video, I was hyped up about this fight and um, I should have known. I got, the, got my emotions better. I got my emotions uh, got the better of me in this. I should have known when this fight was announced. I thought it was going to be a walkover for Hay, but Audie Harrison's got this gift of every time he talks, you start believing, and he's always done this, and unfortunately I think last night this fight represented Audie Harrison's professional career, you know, um, someone who could have been, maybe should have been a great professional after winning, after his amateur successes. And just not doing anything, you know, not doing anything, free, freezing up. Um, his tactics apparently were to um, take it into the later rounds. But, you know, that's fine, but you can't do nothing. You can't stand in the ring and expect a man like David Hay, who's a vicious puncher, to, you know, do that. You've got to take away things like, hey, you should have imposed himself more. You know, at least double up on the jab, use that right jab, use that right cross. I don't know why he didn't do it. It was just shocking, if you ask me. Um, you know, I mean, <clears throat> he didn't really deserve the world title fight, so he got a dream. He got a dream chance, and um, you know, he just didn't take it. And I don't really know why that was the case. Um, it was strange, you know. I mean, I hate to say it, and I don't like getting on fighters' backs too many times, but it was the same with old Ollie Harrison. I was expecting him to win the fight by no amount, but when it's your only time, when it's your first and probably only chance of getting a world title shot, you expect that fighter to really put up a fight, and Harrison didn't do that. He's going to get a lot of criticism for it. You know, hey, he'll probably get a lot of a lot of criticism for picking Harrison as the fight. Um, well, that's quite rightly so or not, that's up to you. You know, I personally, um, I would love to see him fight against Klitschko, but the man's uh, only had four fights, five fights in the heavyweight division. You know, maybe it isn't ready to get the Klitschkos. Maybe they've actually done something smart here straight away. But if uh, Hayes uh, doing what he's professing and retiring at 31 years old, he is going to have to fight the Klitschko sooner rather than later. Um, like some controversy because Hay put money on himself in the third round. Well, I don't really have too much feelings 
about it, to be honest with you. I mean, I think it's wrong to gamble on your own fights, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I suppose it's not really a law against it, and it's not like Hay and Harrison conspired, you know, and they'll both get a piece of the pie. So I suppose there's nothing really wrong. The, pro the problem is, is that when you've got boxing, who um, is big on the, on the gambling scene as well, a lot of punters are going to have missed out money by putting for Hay first round and second round knockout when Harrison was doing nothing different from the third round, from in the third round, from the first and second round. So, you know, I could see so cricket two ways. Maybe David Hay was just on about the third round. I'm going to try and look at it positive and think he was setting himself, he was setting Harrison up. I'm just going to tell him, tell him I'm going to call it like that and hope that's the case. Um, where next for um, David Hay? Well, you know, um, he guaranteed last night in the post fight interview a fight with at least one of the Klitschko's next year. And, you know, I think a lot of people are saying he's running, but I think, hey, I, it's got every right with the whole 50 50 split. By the sound of it, it's the TV deals that we're going to have to, they're going to have to straighten out. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of comments that the Klitschko needs hay. I don't necessarily think they need hay. I think that, um, <clears throat> but, you know, they want to be undisputed champions and, you know, there's still one world title out there. So I think, you know, and the Klitschko's will fight him. They will fight him. They've just got to humble themselves a bit more, I think, and um, not give some of the uh, almost slave deals that there is at the minute with the whole, you know, you fight one brother, you got to fight the other one, then fight the brother you beat first time if you win both of them. You know, I don't think, I think, especially with someone like David Hay, who's a world title holder as well, I think that they need to fare it up a bit. Um, but, you know, that's for boxing players. I'm just a fan, you know, but this is just my personal opinion. If it, if that fight doesn't happen, I have a three-fight plan for David Hay that I like to see. I like to see him against, first of all, him, there's no reason why he should, there's no reason why David Hay shouldn't fight in February, January, February time, really. Uh, maybe even marched, um, because, you know, that fight wouldn't have taken it all out of him. You know, um, I would like to see him face um, someone in the States, you know, either a um, Eddie Chambers or Chris Ariola. I think because we get the States talking, get the States behind him, and then we can compare him to the Klitschko's. After, if he beats one of them, you know, then I think you go for the Klitschko's. I think Vladimir first, because I think... Um, Hay will have an easier time against Vladimir and then Vitaly and then Vitaly last. Hay then retires in October. That's my three fight plan for Rudy Harrison. You know, I mean, it's sad really when I think of it. Um, just a man with so much potential and the amateurs never really did it. And you get that sometimes in boxing. Amateur fighters don't make good professionals. You do get that. But, you know, I think. Um, it's bad for a man who just only threw one punch in three rounds. Uh, I think it's the end of Harrison, <clears throat> personally. Um, the only way he can carry on boxing is if he wants to be a journeyman. And um, no one wants to be a journeyman, I don't think. <clears throat> he probably still believes he uh, he could be world title holder again. But um, if you ask me, um, I think that's the end of the road for Rudy Harrison. I think, um, is this fight, uh, Julian Foster 88, check out the channel, by the way, brilliant channel. He said that is this fight um, have any meaning to it? It probably doesn't, but what it does is that um, you know I don't think it has any meaning to the overall scheme of things. But I think overall, you know, <coughs> it might um, <coughs> it will get the clutch goes um, on notice. You know, the first real barrage of punches uh, against Southpaw. You know. Um, he destroys her and takes him out, but otherwise, no, I think you are right. Um, I think you are right, fella. Um, I don't think it means much in the grand scheme of things, but um, anyway, that's my personal opinion of the fight. Please subscribe for any boxing previews, reviews, and debate. Sorry it's a long video, just a few things that I had to get off my chest there. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. Till next time, peace, love, and I'll catch you in a bit.